Low and Low services are nationwide and international. They are board certified immigration law specialists. Contact us to schedule a consultation in our South Pasadena office via phone, email, or Skype. And follow us on social media and Yelp. We are back on our program. You're watching Kababayan today. We are live in Los Angeles. At kasama po natin si attorneys Allison Aquino Silva and attorney Richard Lowe of Aquino and Lowe. They are here to answer all your immigration questions. So if you are watching us, make sure to give us a call right now. Nandito po kami para tulungan kayo kung meron kayong mga tanong tungkol sa immigration. Um, so, yeah, tawagan niyo po kami dito. Ang uh, telepono po ay 1-888-799. 71140. All right. So um, before we uh, say goodbye to everybody, I just want to say thank you once again for being on the program. We missed you in the beginning of June, but uh, we're we're glad that you guys are here. And time really flies. It's the end of July already. Already. And yeah. uh, summer's almost over. Yeah, so yeah. now the fall election season starts and we can worry in earnest about what will happen in November. Yes, I was, uh, last night I, I didn't fall asleep thinking about Michelle Obama's uh, speech about her kids and how, you know, um, she's uh, really voting for uh, Hillary. <laughs> but um, we're not going to talk politics. We're here to answer your questions. That's why kasama natin si Maria on the phone. Maria, ano po yung tanong ninyo para sa ating immigration attorneys? Oh, um, I filed a petition for my son who is 17 years old now okay. and I filed it in October 25th um, last year. Um, my question is, will he be able to um, um, change, I mean, uh, will that uh, petition be granted here? Because I received a letter from the National Visa Center saying that um, he will be interviewed in Manila. Okay. Uh, yes, if your son is in in the Philippines, if somebody is in the Philippines, then the process for becoming a permanent residency goes through the U.S. Embassy in, in Manila. And you have to go peer there at an interview once the petition is approved. If the person is here in the United States, with the approved petition, they can what's called adjust their status. They can become a permanent resident here. Um, uh, it sounds like perhaps, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if she's a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. If it's a permanent resident, the priority date wouldn't quite yet be current. We're still only on 2014 for uh, F2A category. If she's a U.S. citizen, then the visa would be immediately available for her son uh, to come into the United States as an extra bonus. If he comes in before age 18, he would automatically be a U.S. citizen. Okay, great. Now, kasama naman natin si Susan from Panorama City. Uh, Susan, and ka ba? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Hi, Susan. Ano po yung tanong ninyo? Yeah, my question is that I petitioned my son and my daughter when I have a green card. I got my first uh, green card on December 7, 2010. And then it, the... The petition was approved in 2014 when I became a American citizen. And uh, my question is that when is the um, visa assignment number going to be uh, approved or provided? Yeah, so she she asked, uh, she petitioned under a green card and not as a U.S. citizen. I, I do understand that there is a difference in waiting time between the two, but um, when will her petition be valid? Exactly, and it's actually wonderful that she became a U.S. citizen because now we're looking at both waiting lists, both the green card waiting list and the U.S. citizen waiting list. They're roughly about the same right now. The um, category for green card holder is at September 2005. The category for U.S. citizen is at uh, March of 2005. And so in either situation, you're looking at about maybe a five-year um, additional waiting period from today, considering she petitioned in 2010. Okay, so it's important that uh, you're updated because I know that these dates are constantly fluctuating, right? Every month. <laughs> Every month, and that's why it's so important that you have a licensed um, attorney who knows what's happening, especially, you know, when it comes to the waiting times because, as you said, 
it always moves around. So thank you so much for being here and providing um, all this knowledge for our Kababayans. We can't wait to see you guys again here on Kababayan today. Always thank a pleasure. Thank all you. All right. Maraming salamat po mga Kababayan for calling us here on our program. Ako po si G. Tonji, nagpapaalam sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po.